my funny best friend, it's your guy, Snowbike Mike, here with a live reaction for the Annapurna Interactive Showcase for your lovely summer of 2022. I'm joined alongside the Kind of Funny Games crew. I got my dude, the Nitro Rifle, Andy Cortez. Andy, what's good, homie? What's good, Mike? Um, What are we thinking we're getting here? Cool indie games? Cool indie games like cool Cocoon. One, yeah. That's going to get you out of your seat, Andy Cortez. We'll talk about that in just a moment because I know Thor Forbes 30 Under 30, the next face of video games. You know him from PS I Love You XOXO and all things kind of funny games. Has a lot to talk about right now. So, Blessing, what the heck are we going to see? And what's going to get Andy Cortez hyped and out of his seat? See, I, I thought I had a lot to talk about, but I, I had to <laughs> double check to make sure. Because, of course, Annapurna, publishers of Solar Ash. And mm. I know the next game coming out from Heart Machine is Hyper Light Breaker, which is one that I know gets Andy excited and gets me excited. But what? after double checking, it is published by Gearbox. It is no, not no. published yeah. by Annapurna. Correct. So I don't have anything to talk about. So I of course, cool. We have Cocoon. We have seen Cocoon at the Xbox Summer Showcase. I expect it to be here. Of course, it is published by Annapurna. That's a game everybody's excited for. Then I'm looking for Skin Deep and Storyteller, Blessing and Andy. So let's keep an eye out for those two games. Hopefully a release date for Storyteller. Ooh, give me some, so give me some, some neon white DLC. Oh, Ooh. bless, don't even. Wait a second. This oh, is like an intro hype video. This is the oh. hype, hype video. <laughs> for a second, I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> Are we about to get it? Uh, that's uh, that that cat and the stray thing uh, looks like a maybe a different color cat. Just saying. Open roads. I am surprised is still making its appearances <laughs> in these things. Based on what went down in Fulbright, I, I'm very uh, curious on the state of that game. What about this one? What about this oh, game? Minutes, man. 13, I was in the closet. Oh, oh yeah. This okay, is, I like this sequel. beat. Okay. Mike's been in that closet for 13 months. Right? <laughs> in 12 minutes. <laughs> I can't remember oh, this yeah. game. This game seems really cool. That's Storyteller right there, yep. Yeah. Forgot about it. Tim Getty's video escape? game. Oh my god. Remember Side Wild, Wild Hearts? That's the only game to ever make me like cry like a baby. That was, that was so a good. fucking GM that game. I still listen to that soundtrack. Dude, no doubt. Wild Hearts never dies. Blessed that song. Hello, my name is Slap. Kelsey, and welcome to our second it's annual slapped. Annapurna Interactive Showcase. We had the Wait. best time sharing all of Why our latest games so and partnerships sounding? with you is last that just summer. Me? So this year, we're back it again. It sounds fine to me, but the we have okay. in store for 2022 and beyond. That sounds like a blown Look, out good we'll stereo for me. That sounds good to me. What? And spotlights on a few developers we are thrilled to be working with. We want to thank What's our fans happening? and partners all really over the world for making this showcase possible. Bear, what's happening for you? I hear two feet. I don't know how that's Oh, happening. maybe it's my, uh, I know what it is. There you go. Now it's done. That was my OBS, remember, sending it to you. Hi, uh, I'm Chanda okay. Naika. And I'm Hey, Nick Thirsty Nika. Suitors. Welcome to the joyful and surreal world of Thirsty Suitors. Thirsty yes. Suitors is an action-adventure RPG about fighting your exes, disappointing your parents, and finding yourself. This is Jolly. Okay. She's back in her home. Same dev as Falcon Age, if you remember Falcon Age. After a brutal break, yeah. mm -hmm. has to face everything she left behind. Her immigrant parents' tattered expectations, claustrophobic small town gossip. Did you love God, me, I feel this. And the string I love of this art style. broken hearts she left in her wake. The player shapes Jala's story through narrative choices woven through skating, cooking oh, with her parents, shit. and I'm all about skating, y'all. With her thirsty ex suitors. I'm Each about suitor immigrant battle parents. Is a battle with the past. As Jalas confronted mm. with her ex's perspective of a narrative she thought she knew. Let's look at how combat and narrative work together during the battle with Jalas' third grade boyfriend, Sergio. Jalas faces damage. Sergio, and build up and build up. bro. Taunts reveal your thirst level is high. Putting them in a mood. My mom He's says doing a little salsa dance. And my mom is I love that this is like five different genres. So let's hit him with a thirsty. So cool. Food. Now Sergio is in a thirsty mood. Damn, said he'll get through less damage and have a chance to backfire. When he's in this mood, Jala's thirst skill does way more damage. In between their attacks and defense, oh, Duncan oh, shit. shapes Jala's personality and backstory through choices, which build up her persona. Just when Jala thinks Thursona. she's getting through to Sergio, That's great. he pulls her into his inner world, a psychic landscape where he's the man he imagines himself to be in reality. What the hell? I can't make a dent. Sergio's ego makes him invulnerable to attack. What's a girl's Major do? persona Like most this. South Asian men, all it takes to destroy Sergio's ego is a single word from his mom. 
Jala summons the next best thing to help oh, her shit. win. Summon like oh, his mama. mama. <laughs> her mom. You're in trouble. Get his ass, mama. No! Oh my god. That's really funny. Jala hits Sergio with a rage tongue, which brings all of Sergio's buried resentments to the surface. Once this weakness is exposed, we hit him with a rage skill. The battle ends not with a defeat, but a reconciliation. They've worked through their issues during the battle and oh. can now start again. I'm sorry I came on so strong, Jala. As friends, or maybe even something more. When Jala needs to clear her head, she heads out to the abandoned theme park just outside of town to go skating. These oh, days it's yeah. run by the bear mascot Soundy and his creepy cult of skater punk kids. Our approach to skating is to make it accessible, not too oh, punishing. Oh shit! But the also grinding? Oh shit! For folks that okay. Really get Holy cow! They got the, the Tony Hawk combos in here. combo meter going up for high score. I mean, if I can just skate the whole time, I'm into this Stand game. I'm just gonna on skate. Rails, wall runs, manuals, quick turns, and end on a combo finisher for a big score. 69, it's 69, a, nice. It's a turn-based skating game with dating elements, and it's in VR so also on the play date. Place. We can't wait for you to join Jala as she confronts her mistakes, makes up with her exes, reconciles her cultural differences, and becomes the person she was meant to be. Thirsty suitors. Dude, high fiving a dog is a mechanic. Switch game and launching pass. into Game Pass. Experience the game, the game pass. for yourself with a Thirsty Suitors Steam demo. Oh. Out now. Ooh, a little demo out now. I will. Right now. Don't mind if I do. Oh, going down uh, to Portland. We're, we're going across the map. I like this. It's getting nice, weird right. right now. I think I did the map last time we did this, too. Thirsty Suitor seems neat. It's hard not to, to think about how time has changed the memory of you. How it will continue to change, to shift, until I'm left with a version I've created in my head. I'm packing things up, clearing out your stuff, Sorting through memories that twist and turn. I'm about to fall asleep to this ASMR in here. Greg Miller's getting that. goosebumps right now. Oh, yeah. In the plane to Nashville, he's like, drift he, felt he felt yeah. this. He felt it. Like, this I don't know what's game. happening right now, but. He felt this in the ether. If she comes from a broken home, holy oh, fuck. Oh, my shit. God. And there's horses. Jeez. And she's a cook, just like the bear to TV show on FX. All at once. It's interesting that that's the only reference you have for Cook. <laughs> yeah. No, that's right. He, he's been nonstop talking about it for a week and a half. You know, oh, okay. so he's, he's really big Greg into put cooking a, right now. We're going to put a lot of people on the, onto the bear. Yep. Yeah. Not Nick Scarfino, but no. Yeah, yeah he, he's really big with that. Wow, it's broken home. Oh, broken home. Symbolism. Whoa. Symbolism. <laughs> Whoa. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Wow, we. I don't like the logo. <laughs> The logo looks like a Logitech G Hub product. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like a Ooh, VR Chicago. product. <laughs> oh, let's go. Also, that game comes out next week. That's pretty cool. Damn, graphics are wild. <laughs> I can't believe they have a literal broken home. <laughs> that is so funny. Our studio is called Cardboard Computer, and um, it's just it's just three of us. So my name's Jake Elliott. I'm the writer uh, in the studio, I guess, in the team, and, and I also do a lot of programming. Uh, Tomas and I kind of share programming. It's like art, writing. Wait, were you there last week for sound. PS? No, it wasn't you, it was Roger, I never was mind. was playing music and some touring and making records. I guess we I were having like a back and forth last week, but before year. PS Love we You, me, school, Greg, Janet, and Chicago. Roger about all three of us were living in Chicago how around Annapurna for me is a publisher Tomas that I feel like they'll give to make a, video game a game to like a few other ideas. Generic. Before we settled on. Yeah, not, not me talking about these guys, right? But like dudes in Portland that are like white with a beard. And that was like was my exact description. The spring of the same year because we were went into this. This is like the exact visual I had. The second year. Yeah. A few months. Like when you're mentioning that plus. I see the dude on the be Friday night, and we'd be like, "Okay, I synthesizing bet if we switcher." All night tonight, I bet I'm like, yeah. "Man, these guys should be morning. from Portland." We'd be like, "Okay, <laughs> we would work all night, and it wouldn't be quite done." We'd be like, "Okay, but I bet we could do Sunday." I bet if we kept going, you know. Dude, I never night, finished this game. I needed the final so chapter. We had to adjust our expectations a little bit. Seven. But it was really it's heady. Like another three years before that. Not a great game to stream. I'll say that. I think that's still. What this game? Kentucky Rod Zero. Yeah, Kentucky Rod Zero. Oh, okay. 
right after Kersey came. <laughs> Little Jacob in chat. These three guys love the craft beer. But the idea has been <laughs> kicking around for years. Maybe as old as Kersey. We're working on a new project. It's the first project we're really seriously focusing on performance as like kind of a core part of the piece. KRZ, is it's that a like very still, there's not a lot of animation. Everything is sort of like these slow idle tableaus. So we're a lot of horses doing a lot of R&D with Whoa. making it more lively. Whoa. What the Versions fuck? Like That's wild. The animated characters that we Me can do as a three-person team, basically. This workflow is already just so exciting. Oh my god. This time we have a lot more. I mean, to me, I'm like real time motion capture with the cell phone, but Mike was VTubing. VTubing. Remember when we became VTubers? Yeah, what a great. time. What a time to be alive. Kind of funny, has never gotten really that high since. Or, work. Ever since. Way that it's been on a downhill substantial fall. And Someone in the chat said these guys were really into ciders. It's it's about a different tempo. It's no, ciders are great. Ciders are great. Yeah. I mean, these guys seem like they could be into great stuff, though. But it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's not a tragic comedy, though. No. It's just a tragedy, yeah. Yeah, just a tragedy. <laughs> Let's, uh, Blessing, you and me, Cider Ranking Podcast, The Insiders. Oh, wow. that's really good. That's really good. We go to different bars, Fuck. we talk games, we drink, we taste the ciders. I thought I was done with this But on the Patreon thermometer. Mm -hmm. But I suppose that's not my privilege to possess. Bro, I want, let's bring goggles back. I want to rock goggles. Some skill sets are a curse. Maybe someday I'll find the peace in that. Got a mech too, and fuck yeah! Oh shit! Sadly, Dino God is not that day. Whoa, cool! It's just like a farm simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that happen? <laughs> they already have that game coming out this summer for Xbox. Yeah, yeah I think we saw that in mech suits. Yeah. <laughs> This is cool. Also, isn't she the character from Overwatch? Like one of the newest ones? Tomorrow is different. Bounty Star. Bounty Star. I'm trying to think, Blaz. 2023 game. I was thinking of cool. uh, the Junker Queen. Junker Queen. Oh, yeah, I'm Junker Queen. We're going to Austin. That was in Austin, I think. Oh, Austin and Atlanta. No, this is a little Ooh, duo it team. Right here. A little duo team. The reason I got into making video games. It was from my dad. He passed away, and that was one of the last things that he left. I came back to it when I was in my Good early game. teens. It was just a really sentimental and emotional experience. And when I beat it, I was like, oh man, I really want to make an experience like this for someone else. Is that a shark? So I got started to make my screen. own game, and I would stream the whole process. And I had a pretty active community on Twitch. And oh, Chris okay. was one of the first people I was thinking, how am I going to make this game alone? Then one day, he started typing in my chat. He said, oh, do you have sick. a mic? That's, That's how, how it always started. starts. You got a mic? Anybody got mics? Nobody's got mics? Fuck it. Cool. Yeah, We're Chris not winning, Hoffman. I guess. I'm the programmer at a company that Fabian and I started called Yarn Owl. I work in Austin, uh, and Fabian works in Atlanta. We've been working full time on Whoa. a project together for a little over a year and never met. I look like Zelda. Well, yeah. Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, they never met. That's oh, cool. Okay. Oh, this is Fabian. First time I'm meeting Alma. She's yes. very excited yeah, about all this. She's very excited. Oh, like, this I've is talked cute, to Alma man. As much as I've talked to Chris. <laughs> gotcha. And then, you know, you can hold it again to charge again. And cool. Hold it again to charge again. Yeah, that's awesome. After work, we both come home and start yeah, working on the game. game then game. at the end of 2020, I shot him a message one day and I said, Man, I can't hey, are we really going to make this game? He said, yeah, I quit my job that day. And then in 2021, snap, we started Yarn Owl. I was Yo, like, this looks dope. he yeah. is fully on board. So from that point, I just figured that he would be the best person to work with. <laughs> hey, look at them. He does everything code and I do everything art. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll just hop God, in a meeting man. for like a good hour, but then it ends up being like three hours, four hours. I would watch this documentary, excited, dude. Talking about different ideas. Nine part series, The Last Dance. It was Dance. definitely emotional. Yeah. Now all of this is happening and all of this is real. If I didn't oh, I'm digging the get polo, the polo from chain my dad, combo. Or even Wind Waker later from my mom, just getting those games as a kid is you are the polo what motivates poppy. me now. Can uh, you call me that? I want to make an experience just like that. Call you that. Hell yeah, he's making a... When is, my, when is Nick uh, actually going to get his ear pierced with the with the dangling, Dang, like, yeah. fucking never. crucifix? Outer Wilds hey, DLC. It's been a little while, and I just wanted to reassure everyone I never that, played it, dude. no, you did not collectively hallucinate our announcement of Outer Wilds for the Nintendo Switch.
It's oh, possible we are a bit over optimistic on the time frame. At this point, it's possible we just fundamentally misunderstand the Gregorian calendar, but it's still happening, and we're working hard to bring a great version of Outer Wilds to the Switch. Thank you for your patience. We'll have new info for you as soon as possible. With that said, we also have some good news. Man, you're about to make me cry, bro. Oh, there you go, a little next gen. You know what? Why not you... boot this up for a ninth time and not finish the game? You know, <laughs> bless, <laughs> beat blast. this on stream, Yo, bro. Blast. I've booted this game up so. I actually in 60 FPS, that kind of does like, appeal to me. Kind of funny stream. I could be down. Do it with like, Andy. Don't do it with I, me. Do I, it with I Andy. could find a good play. I could find a good playthrough to like to help guide you, just because I know that like the puzzles. I'm dumber than you, and the puzzles were like really rough for me, so I had to like look up some shit. I think it's like skip. Oh, the Pathless, what's up, with Pathless? What you doing? Mike, you need to be there for Outer Wilds, but you need oh. to smoke a big ass tarantula. Oh, oh, okay. If, if, if Greg lets me do that, then I'm in. If Greg lets me do that, then I'm Mike, in. Mike, it's a it's a cosmic trip. Dude. Oh, coming to Xbox coming and Switch. Switch. Xbox and Switch. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, y'all like this Pathless game? Oh, I, Pathless is dope as hell. I, I never beat it, but Pathless. I really dug what I played. I really have no reason for not going back, to be real with you. <laughs> like, mm. it's not like I wasn't digging it. It was actually. If you, if you like them Team Eco games, I feel like it's it's, it's that kind of kind of game. But yeah, the boss fights were. Spectacular. This gonna come to Xbox? Probably. This, this was, was PlayStation only, only, right? Yeah, this was on PlayStation. Maquette is an okay puzzle game. Oh. I remember this. If I would give it a strong three out of five on the kind of funny scale. On Game Pass. There we go. But yeah, back to Outer Wilds. I think the thing that always got me with that game is that like, there's so much going on and it's so like at your own pace that I get bored. It can get overwhelming, yeah. Yeah. A lot of these just games just coming to different platforms now is what we're seeing here. Probably, yeah. That's nice. On Steam, okay. You know what I also recommend? Do a, do a little uh, Solar Ash Pathless double feature. Ooh, I like, I like that. I feel dude. like that's a good back to back. They're both oh. uh, they're both very similar oh. in setup. Man, I I really get you know I was again harder on this game than I should have been because it wasn't High Fly Drifter. But at the end of the day, like I beat it, I was like, fuck, that's a good game. I really enjoyed it. Game Pass bringing you some games. Oh, is oh, this no. what remains? Oh, yeah. Or is it a vanishing of Ethan? Oh no, this is what remains. Yeah. This is a great game. Wait, what was that? All of this about? is one game? Yeah. 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 <laughs> a lot of a lot of different vibes going on in that one. Okay, available I, I now. I only thought Ethan Finch was a first person thing. I didn't know it had like this top free. down element. Job it's grade. yeah, it's a it's an interesting game. Really cool. We are here in Germany. Really good accent. For a long time, I didn't even know that I wanted to make games. Damn, I'm and not I realizing how many Inna Perda games I played. In school and yeah. <laughs> learning about the mechanics in video games. At some point, I just thought, okay, maybe I can combine those two things. When is A23? I'm a computer. Is that what they're called? A24. <laughs> A24. I like A24. When are they going to get their game dev? Those were the Honestly, first steps I'm right there with you. Expressing myself. I mean, that's kind Last of what Anna Perna did, right? Like, they were like yeah. a movie yeah. thing, and, and then they, yeah. they were like, oh, let's get into video games. So. I'm Fabian. I'm Last the night, I went to see the Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Um, the latest A24 movie that's right coming out in a few weeks. In the west of Germany. Pretty good movie. Um, in my oh, department, pretty good which is movie. Do you like um, quarters of our little some company. like uh, horror, some murder mystery vibes? When we started thinking and also Gen Z. Then it'll be a good watch for you. On this, A24 uh, interaction would be all and, uh, this was when fucked Yeti up was horror born. stuff. So I take it back. I don't Before want A24 interaction. Uh, I'd be like, I want the Undead, the Undead Gems game. As Alfred? That was called? No. Un Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. Mm. <laughs> Uncut <laughs> Nightmare. I took down the Pacific Coast. Fabian and I were always... I like how he said Uncut Gems and Roger was kind of... Was summoned. Yeah, no, that just... Roger was me. It was there, it was there. The Undead the Gems game would go hard. I just, I just wanted to laugh at Blessing on stream. Zombie Adam Sandler. To, uh, lend him my camera. God, Greg Greg looks like all about this. Yeah, this, this is going to be a great game. Greg looks like Lake. Yeah, Greg is salivating right now. Fuck, this was yeah. actually taken in the middle of nowhere. Somebody who grew up without a dad or some shit. Yeah. And there's just no one. 
and this was just uh, crazy to see. Yeah, we have a scene just like this in the game. Alfred was the first thing we had. Character model. The subreddit tag. Is this Nick? Like this. this is what Alfred used to look like. We started redesigning Alfred and damn, made bro, a bit more lifelike. Next gen update, Alfred's dog. Alfred's main purpose is to That's document what I'm this about. trip. Usually, the games that stuck most with us are story-driven games. I'm just excited to <laughs> see gonna love when this. people actually play this thing in the future. Wow, and that lighting looks will too. be very soon. I need something with some neon white vibes. I need Boy, some fast we're action. We're here in London. Terrible action. Not good. I'm in. Oh, I'm in. Oh, this looks cool. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on a dime. <laughs> Flip-flopping quicker than naked. I'm back in. <laughs> <laughs> flying I'm whales? I'm Pokemon. in, dog. I love a good flying whale, bro. <laughs> oh, this looks sick as hell. Oh, I already, I already, some shit. I already know the title is about to be off the chain. It's gonna be called Hohokum or some shit. It's gonna be like mm, Blue exactly. Bloopy or something. Yep. <laughs> Billy Billy. <laughs> Blue Balooby Airstream of Eternity or something. What would the meta cricket give this? Flock. 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 Gather your friends. Close. Aim pass. They, not too late to change the name, guys. Keep that in mind. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Santa flower. Oh. Flower and a. Or, um, Whatchamacallit. Are they straight up just like, we're gonna get Tycho's to fucking be our soundtrack? Remind me what this game is, chat. I forget what this game was called. God, Tycho's. Wait, is this a Hoku? <laughs> that's Tycho. Oh, never mind, never mind. Wait, this is a. Oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know Tycho was on. For a, while, Tyco, for a while, Tycho was just like <laughs> the music I listened to on airplanes. And I always fell asleep to it and vibe to it. That is so funny. Oh, that's cool. It's gonna, the camera's going to be in here. What's up, guys? I modded <laughs> Greg into Resident Evil where he's Mr. X. Did that say Uvula? Oh, it did. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, I like Katamari. Okay. Oh. Cute. Oh. That's a cool tease. I like that. Yeah. I also didn't even know that game was made in San Francisco. Or Katamari was SF based. Making games is a process. You try and guide it, but you're trying to guide like a gushing river. Often people reach for stories they've already heard. We really want to pull from our own experience as much as possible because it feels the most fun kind of treatments. real. This is cute as hell. I'm Laura. Uh, I'm the director at Dreamfield. This is the Hellfire Club. Way back when Dreamfield started, this is one of the first places we came for like research. Ireland is full of ruins and those ruins speak to a history of violence sometimes, a history of change as well. Do they live here or did this small any team straight up do Greenfield started like location scouting? <laughs> that is some and wild shit for a Leah. tiny team. It was just going to be a few sessions. No, they're, they're, they're based in like Ireland. A full oh, okay. time week just exploring. We developed loads of ideas and one of them uh, became if found. Suddenly there was a dynamic. We're like playing off each other. And then as more and more people come oh. in, kind of like grows its own identity. 
I think like creativity is when you bring like one like random idea from here and one random idea from somewhere else and like see how they could join or like what they could do together. And when you have lots of team members, that just happens. It's really important to me that we have the energy and we enjoy it when we come here. So like today, instead of showing computer screens, I wanted to show like dream fields, like all of these people coming together. The new game is set in kind of like a fantasy version of Ireland. Probably the most obvious first detail is that all the characters are cats. Perfect. And I think that's why cats. Three out of five. very unique. Mm. We have themes that I think are very relevant me. these days <laughs> about coming together in the face of adversity. Everything drowned will someday... Well, you know they were shaking in their boots when they announced Stray. Oh, yeah. The theme of our game. <laughs> but guys, we got to delay it for at least six months. <laughs> guys, we got to restart this thing from the top. Be creative Maybe together switch and to dogs. make something that is worthwhile. <laughs> well, I think what's fantastic about Dreamfield is that um, whether you're working on the music or the art or the programming, you're really invited to, like, bring your best to the table. Everyone kind of leaves a mark on it, which is really nice. In a lot of ways, I think Dreamfield has become more polished as we've gone on. I think this game will feel more polished even compared to Band, but I hope that we still bring that edge of like exploration and adventure <laughs> into it. This is gonna sound like an insult, and maybe it kind of mm. is, but that whole vibe is like, it reminds you of like going to school without grades. <laughs> like, that's the vibe I got what? when they were just painting on the wall. It felt like, hey, there's no grades here, man. <laughs> we don't judge you. Did you just make fun of participation trophies? <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are they even making a game? Like, <laughs> what's going on here? Andy, Jesus. <laughs> God damn. Tell us how you really feel, damn. <laughs> They don't have enough I mean, it looks to like show, a so they're just to trying work. to, like, uh, you know, put out good vibes, and you come in just fucking being a, you know, <laughs> almost a Nick Scarpino generation asshole. Yeah. Here. Jesus. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. This could be me. I like this. Yeah, whatever this is, so far, I'm dinosaurs. I'm in. Dinosaurs. Running for your life. I like this. Cool. Cool. The, oh. the, rap, the name the Raptor makes right there, Mike. Careful. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that's another sound effect. This seems cool as hell. Hey, nah. But finally, in isolation, but with dinosaurs. Oh, shit. Oh, you're definitely dead. Oh, dude. Oh my god. It's like Jurassic Show World when she came out with the flare, bro. Holy shit. Lost Wilds. Guess what? Finally. I'm in that. Other me. people and creators are like, hey, thank you so Jurassic much for World. tuning into our second annual they don't have, Interactive Showcase. You know, we hope you enjoyed the market it, and we'll see you all dinos. again next summer. We can do this too. All right, everybody. Well, that was the Annapurna Showcase here for the summer of 2022. Kind of funny games, live reaction right there. We'll do a quick breakdown of what we liked, what we didn't like, and we'll get out of here. So, let's go kick it to you first. What was the game that stood out to you that you liked a lot? I mean, honestly, I think the, the Lost Wild was a really good one uh, to close out on. Uh, that game looks dope as hell. And I want a little bit more of that from Annapurna. You know, I, I, I think it's fine for developers to, or for publishers to kind of have their, their bag, right? When I think of Devolver Digital, I think of the fast paced Hotline Miami type games, but then they also like reach out and do some other kinds of games as well. When I think of Annapurna, I do think of, you know, the soft tone, the narrative driven, driven hipster ish, you know, indie game, which I think it's a, a cool bag to have, and oftentimes I like those kind of games. But uh, for me, Lost Wild was a standout because it was something that I hadn't, I, I feel like I haven't seen before, right? Like we've gotten first person horror, we've gotten some dinosaur games here and there, but it seems like for the kind of dinosaur game this is, right? To have it be this, the way I perceive it, an Outlast ish, you know, you are hiding. Alien you are, isolation. Alien isolation -ish, ish kind of game with dinosaurs in this forest jungle area. I think that seems really cool, and I can't wait to either play this game or watch people stream this game on Twitch. Like, I think this will be a great indie stream game uh, whenever it comes out. Yeah, but, oh, you're gonna do oh, great you're putting that game. on me. Oh, oh yeah, I'm going to put that on you. It's going to be dope. I, I like this one. This is the game that stood out to me the most. This is the game that spoke to me throughout the showcase. I am excited. I love dinosaurs. I don't think we get enough dinosaurs. I think we all can remember Turok back in the day. We need more <laughs> dino games in my life, but... Uh, this spoke to me. I'm definitely interested in learning more, and I, I look forward to seeing a lot more of this. Not many other games from this stood out to me, so this yeah. is going to be my winner of the the, the showcase. And Andy, oh yeah, go bless. Well, I was saying that's my thing overall. I, uh, compared to the the previous Annapurna showcase, 
I, I feel like this one wasn't as strong. I could have used a cocoon here. I could have used mm. maybe a, another uh, some a, a few more games that maybe spanned outside of the like the traditional you know hipster like narrative game that Annapurna is known for. And when they yeah. have those, right, I want them to be bangers. You know, Andy Andy pointed out for that the one game that was second to last, right? It felt like they didn't have a lot to show for it. It was a lot more talk than than show. And I think that could work if the core concept is something that is stand out, but it being like the, the main thing them uh, that they were showing us showing off to us being the anthropomorphic cats. I needed a little bit more from from that in order to for it to to get me in. And so there weren't many here that interested me as much. But overall, you know, I think it was fine. I think it was cool. This showcase might be more for other folks than it was for me. Yeah, I, I, th- I, I think if anything, Mike, the thing that kind of excites me the most, which if it were in any other conference, I'd be probably a bit more annoyed and like ah, that's kind of that's who gives okay. a shit if this is your highlight but i think putting a lot of their other titles getting these free next gen upgrades that's... getting them on other consoles having them just more available to a lot more people i think was a really nice section because there's a lot of great standout games that deserve more of an audience uh, blessing mentioned how much you love the pathless i really dug that game as well uh getting solar ash on steam and again having a lot of these games getting the 60 frames treatment. I think yeah. Outer Wilds is a game that needs to be played by more people. Um, and I'd say the one game that really stood out to me was uh, the game with a guy from Portland and Austin making that sort of Zelda-like. Austin and Georgia, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah Austin cool. and Georgia, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. Seeing that tag team duo, getting their backstory, it was sweet. It was really wholesome. And the fact that, you know, it starts off with, Link to the Past had a huge impact on me. I want to give that to somebody else. Uh, it looks like they're making a little indie type thing, which we again we didn't even get a title for. They didn't they didn't talk about like here's what the game is called or whatever. We just call ourselves Yarn Owl. I think that game looked really just cool based on what we were seeing off of the monitors. So yeah. that's the uh, game that uh, I would say is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Them I saying <clears throat> both Link to the Past and Wind Waker too, yeah. like. Yeah, oh, baby, and there was a that's... dash right there, Bear. Can you rewind yeah, uh, three yeah, seconds? Yeah, a little dash. Give, me, give him a little dash show off. Give a little, a little dash. dash. It'll probably be a parry in there too. I, can dash and parry. I do like when you when you did the dash. They do have that uh, the stamina wheel that looks Breath of the Wild as well, uh, which is really interesting. And yeah, I do like the fact that they are. It, I I assume it's going to be more traditional, um, especially referencing Link to the Past and Wind Waker, which right now I think there is an opening for right. Like M- Nintendo is leaning into Breath of the Wild too, and that is going to be the new modern. That is going to lean into what new modern Zelda is. Yeah, make a traditional Zelda game with the traditional ju- uh, dungeons that people have loved from the classic games. And they refuse really cool. support Wind Waker, so you know uh, they're also I'm, kind I'm of uh, hopping day, on hopefully. that. You know. Yeah, and in bless you said it so well. I think when I look back on this showcase, I'll of course really be interested in Lost Wild. I'll appreciate what they're doing. I'm bringing a lot of these titles over to different platforms, especially Game Pass is shining right now with a lot of these games that weren't released over there. So that's exciting as can be. And it just felt like another Annapurna joint, right? This is what we did last year. A really big shine and spotlight on the developers, the people who make the games and all of these cool and unique people that make really cool and unique and different games, right? And some games... We'll speak to people. Some people, some people won't vibe with them. But the cool part about Annapurna is they make different and unique games that you don't really get to see that much. Just like we're seeing right now with the mech and the lady in the desert of Arizona. I thought that was cool. So looking back, uh, another great afternoon spent talking games and seeing games with you. Some vibes, some dimmit, but uh, just another fun afternoon. Barrett, I'll let you close out the show. What's the one thing you were most excited about? Uh, what, what Andy was talking about the, the Zelda inspired game. That was just, uh, like Andy said, like I could watch an entire documentary about this, uh, game and it could literally just be both of them just sitting at this desk for seven hours and <laughs> I would still watch it just cause, uh, I, I love the story of them coming together. Uh, I, I, I like what they're being inspired by and, uh, and what they're making. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this and I assume, uh, uh, it's going to be a few years out, but it's going to be a while. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, blessing and Andy, anything before we go? Uh, also, shout out to Thirsty Suiters. I think that game oh. looks really cool, and it looks like it's uh, around the corner. Them getting on Game Pass is going to be a re- really good move for them. Uh, and it being just a bunch of different genres, I, I think, is really interesting, and it's going to make it stand out. And I'm excited to play it. You know, I, like I think it looks cool. The art style reminds me a little bit more, uh, a little bit of Falcon Age, but it looks like Eka and the team are pushing it 
further. There's so many different things that catch my attention uh, visually, and I like that he's uh, leaning leaning into uh, the specific culture. I think that's gonna uh, hope. I think that's gonna be something special when it comes out. I also want to point out that I think the market has been kind of flooded with the top down dashing roguelite dungeon crawling game, but I could have used one here, just one. I'm surprised we didn't see Cocoon. <laughs> Truly and honestly, I yeah. thought Cocoon would have been that one to kind of get more hype in the kind of carry this conference, but we did not see Cocoon, so that's all right. We'll see it again next time. But kind of funny, best friends, whether you're watching the VOD or you're live here on Twitch, let us know what you were most excited for after this Annapurna Interactive Showcase. And with that, we'll say goodbye, and we'll catch you on the next Live Reacts. Peace, everybody.